all that Dewey's fault. Rave, I know you're worried about the finances because you have loans to pay and to help me's medical bills. Well, my mark can help. I can also chip in. No way. I can't let you pay for the wedding. You want a simple wedding. I know. But our wedding has to be grand, Rave. I'm doing this for you. For me? Don't forget. Not only are relatives going to be there, we're also inviting my Bapak's ex-colleagues and friends. I don't have to tell you what this means. Prof Sito will be there. Don't you want to impress him? This is your chance. Dewi. Wah, do sir, you give me a shock. Not funny. I think the floor should be clean already. Ma'am Rose, I think I'm very angry with me. Please tell her not to send me back. I need the money. If she wants to send you back, you'll be at the airport by now. I didn't push by Helmi, I swear. I believe you. Look, she Helmi has dementia, so you have to be patient with him. In his mind, you're someone new in this house. Give him some time to get used to you. Yeah, and try to smile more. Oh, uh, by the way, did you see Chi this morning? She's in Pai Helmi's room. She was there the whole morning. You super thing. What are you doing here? Ibu, we... Where are your manners? Why didn't you not at the door first? Chi, I'm sorry, we... Both of you, get out! Get out! Dr. Zarif, it's a good thing you are here. You have to save me. This Dr. Ashraf is trying to poison me. I'm not trying to poison you. You just need to take your medication. You told those nurses to make me take that six times a day, right? Uncle Surya, please calm down. I want to change doctor. I don't want this fella. What fella? I am a doctor. Hey, you don't raise your voice at me, okay? I'm a patient. Who's your supervisor? I want to make a complaint. Uncle Surya is agitated. You better make yourself scarce. Gladly. Just make sure he takes his meds. Uncle Surya. You're scheduled for a Whipple surgery next Tuesday. Yeah, but if that Yaya fella is going to do the surgery, I'll mati, I tell you. Dr. Ashraf is just assisting. Dr. Penny Father is the operating surgeon. When it comes to pancreatic tumor or oh, Dr. Penny Father is the go-to guy. You're in good hands. Yeah, but Dr. Ashraf, must he be there or what? Dr. Ashraf has handled cases of pancreatic tumour. That's why he's assigned to assist. I don't like him. He's a good doctor and he has a kind heart. You just need to get to know him better. I don't care. I'm going to tell my surgeon I'm not comfortable with that Dr. Ashraf. Uncle Surya. Look, my son cannot come for the op because he's on reserves. And that fellow is going to cut me up <laughs> over my dead body, I tell you. Mom, Ka, you've got to calm Ibu down. What happened? She is yelling at Dewey for not washing a boat properly. And Dewey looks like she's about to cry. You better go and save her. Mom, I'm sorry. I, I wouldn't do it again. Sorry, sorry, Eddie, what were you guys talking about? Ibu's been spending a lot of time with Jay Helmi. I think she's getting too attached. She overreacts every time something happens to him. You see, this is why I told you we can't let them get close to each other. Hey, enough of your I told you so crap. I already feel like a jerk thinking of ways to keep them apart. Che, you can't be taking everything out on Dewey. Do you think I want to? She can't do anything right. First the wet floor, and now she can't even wash this bowl properly. How can you eat in this? What happened yesterday wasn't Dewey's fault. Dewey warned Che Hilmi that the floor was slippery. Good thing nothing happened to Hilmi. What if he hit his head and got serious head injury? He might just die, you know? Chi, why do you keep saying Chi Hemi will die? Is there something that you're not telling us? W why? You want to bring him for another checkup, is it? Why are you always so paranoid? Ma'am, I'm very sorry. 
I will wash the bowl again and prepare lunch for Pak Helmi, ya. Uh, make sure he has his coffee and don't put too much sugar. Yeah, ma'am. So sorry, my Adina. Why are you apologizing? I heard you were shouting at Dewi. I'm so sorry, I caused so much trouble between you and her. It's not your fault. That Dewi is very sloppy with her work. She's so fierce. I'm so scared of her. You have me. No need to be scared. Dr. Zarif, wait up. Yes, Dr. Ramesh. Just so you know, Mr. Surya from Ward 8A has requested for you to assist Dr. Pennyfather for the surgery. Oh, so what did Dr. Pennyfather say? Well, you've assisted him in surgeries before, so he has no issues. However, I have a concern. The Ripple procedure is a difficult and demanding operation. You'll need to attend a few meetings with the team prior to the surgery. Also, it's the first time you'll be assisting on a pancreatic tumour op. So there's a lot of reading up to do. That's another thing on your plate, on top of your regular workload, as well as Prof Cito's research paper. And you have less than a week to prep. I can handle it, as long as it makes Mr. Surya comfortable. I like your attitude, Dr. Zarif. That's what we're here for, right? To make our patients comfortable. Can you help me book a flight car? Where are you going? Why, Masaya? I thought we agreed no secrets between us. Anyway, I will know where you will be going if I help you to book the flat car, right? Okay, okay, I'll tell you. I have to go to my lawyer's office to change my will. I thought I'd better do it before it's too late. You're talking about dying again. You know I don't like it. Oh, please, Adina. This is very important to me. I have to do this. Okay, I will help you. Thank you. And don't let the rest know. Why? They might stop me. I don't want anybody to stop me. Especially not my sister. Promise me. Please. Okay. I don't know what he wants, Dr. Ramesh. I mean, he's grumpy, he's unreasonable, and he hates to take his medication. Dr. Zarif, you're here. You're looking for me, sir? Dr. Ashraf, Dr. Zarif will be taking over as assistant surgeon for Mr. Surya's surgery. I thought I was supposed to assist. There's been some last minute changes in the roster. You sure you want to work with that patient, bro? I mean, you saw him. He's so hard to handle. Still not too late to walk away. Amy, are you sure you don't want me to go with you? Yeah, I can manage. Don't worry, I can wait outside the lawyer's office. I won't catch up with you. Actually, you have something to do with this will. Me? Yeah. I want to include you in my will. After all the things you've done for me, it's only right that you have a share when I am, um, you know. Are you sure about this? Nadia won't be happy. Uh, uh, Nadia and I are close. She's my only sister. She will understand why I'm doing this. Uh, uh, the flat guy is here, honey. Uh, Yeah, going up. Don't, don't scold me. It's not my fault. Hear me? Relax, relax. Why help me? I'm not scolding no, you. No, no, come here, me. Go away, go away. Uh, hear me? The flat guy is here. Huh? Go, 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 go. Let's go. The flat guy is here. Go, 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 go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ashraf, wait. Go away, I'm busy. 
Believe me, I have no idea Uncle Sura requested for me to assist the all. This is what he wants. I'm just thinking of the patient's best interest. His best interest or your best interest? Uncle Surya's, of course. How many pancreatic ops have you done? I've got way more experience in this area than you do, so what makes you the best choice over me? Don't make this personal. You made it personal with your Uncle Surya. Go back to Dr. Ramesh and tell him you're turning down the request. I can't. Uncle Surya asked for me. He needs me. So this is the thanks I get for covering you while you enjoy your little golf game with Professor Sito and Dr. Ramesh, huh? What has this got to do with that? Don't blame me if the patient doesn't trust you. Ma'am, Yarti. Ma'am, I'm really sorry about what happened just now. I really don't know what to do with what he and me. What happened? Dewi gave Hilmi a fright when he was going out. She's always scaring him. He went out alone? Uh. All by himself? He went to run some errands nearby. He'll be fine. Achi, you should give him a call. Check if he's okay. Alama. Help me! Uh, is everything okay? Uh, I'll call you a few times. Okay, okay. I'll wait for you to come home. He forgot how to answer the phone. Someone helped him to answer. Can't blame him. Nowadays, the phone has so many buttons, so complicated. Anyway, he's on his way back home already. Chi, you shouldn't have let him go out alone. We're responsible if anything happens to him. I'll make sure there's no more next time. Happy? Ma'am, I think it's all my fault. You shouldn't blame yourself, Dewey. It's not easy to deal with someone with dementia. You should read his website. Short-term memory and dementia, yeah? According to this, even though people with dementia lose their short-term memory, they retain their emotional memory. This means they always emotionally remember the bad things that happened to them. But they don't remember how it happened and why it happened. Um, oh. yeah. You can read this short article about how this lady always thinks that her family is trying to kill her. Oh, no wonder Pa Hilmi is always so scared of me. In his mind, he thinks I'm trying to harm him. Ma'am, what should I do? First, you have to try to gain his trust. <laughs> You'll have to fast for at least eight hours and no coffee. <laughs> as long as you are with me during the surgery, I'll give up anything. Doctor, you seem trouble. Something bothering you? I'm fine. I just need you to sign this consent form and you'll have to go for an x-ray tomorrow. No problem. I got it. Did she hear me? She had an idea. We've just got back from the lawyer's office. You all have a lot of explaining to do. This is about your fiancé. I'm busy. Abang, stop being so selfish. Zaire is going to be a future brother-in-law. Instead of treating him like a rival, you should be happy, says his thing, Dr. Penny father. Abang, look, if he looks good, you look good too. Hello, he already has Professor Sito. Why is he encroaching my turf and stealing my gig? Do you know how long I've waited for this chance to do a Whipple surgery? Now you're being childish. He's not looking to steal your gig. He has to be there because Uncle Surya wants him there. 
Don't name Zarif just because you can't get along with your patient. Chinadia, I'm so sorry about Chihim Miss Bruce. It was an accident. He slipped and fell. Zarif already checked him out. And he's fine. No other injury. What about the wheel? What wheel? You didn't know? Helmi wants to include Adina in his wheel. Bo, did you know about this? <laughs> of course she does. Seems like your Ibu never tells you anything, eh? Or maybe she doesn't even want you to know that she told Helmi to include her in the wheel. Chinadia, with all due respect, my Ibu would never do such a thing. Please, watch your words. Luckily, I have the power of attorney. The liar caught me. Okay, that's enough. It's my money. I do what I want with it. Help me. I'm just protecting you. What if you get cheated? You work so hard. It's your life savings. You think I'm mentally unsound? I can't handle my finances and I'll get cheated? I'm your abang. Don't treat me like a fool. Nadia, I don't need to cheat Hilmi's money. I had a restaurant. I live in a big house. My children support me. I don't need his money. Adina, why are you saying that? You are sayang. You cared for me and you love me. I just want to support you financially in return. If that's what he wants, I have nothing else to say. Prof, is this about the research paper? How is it? If it didn't come from you, I would have thought that it was written by a first-year medical student. I'm sorry. There's inadequate data to support the objectives of the research. I stopped reading at page four. Prof, the thing is, I had some problems looking for the data. So I tried going online and... You young people, everything also go online, online. Of course, you're not going to find anything there. The technology to incorporate robotics into inguinal hernia repair is relatively new. I'm sorry, Prof. I'll do better. Have you tried reaching out to Professor Wallace Williams from the CM Medical Institute in Chicago? He's one of the pioneers in robot-assisted surgery. I'll get in touch with him ASAP. You know, I did not expect to have to spoon-feed you, Dr. Zarif. I chose you because you show passion in this area and I was hoping to have a deeper discussion with you. I'll rework the paper. I promise I'll come up with something much better. I won't let you down. I actually feel sorry for Chinadia. I thought it would be harmless. She was so lonely and down. I just wanted her to be happy. If I had known things would get so complicated... Rose, I... don't be so hard on yourself. For what it's worth, I really appreciate everything you've done for Ibu. I've done more harm than good. Please. What did Chinadia expect when she chucked him to us? She's well aware that Chi Hilmi likes Ibu. I'm needed back at the cafe. Go. I will handle Ibu. I don't know why my sister must stick her nose in my business. Hilmi, Nadia is not your sister. She's your wife. What wife? My wife is gone. Just like Muda. Soon I'll be gone too. No. You will live a long life. What's the point? I can't even remember anything anymore. I can't even take care of myself. Even my sister thinks I'll get cheated. <laughs> Please, help me. Don't get angry. It's not good for your blood pressure. I don't want you to get another stroke. If I do, just... Let me go. What are you talking about? If I get another stroke, I don't want to be saved. No more doctors, no more tests, no more people controlling my life. Just let me go. No, I can't do that. I'd rather die than be a vegetable. No, you won't. No. Adina. If you love me, just let me go. Be with Muda. Promise.
That's a lot of food. Thank you. Time to celebrate you joining Prof Sito and his research paper. How's Ashraf? Did you manage to talk to him? Don't worry. He'll get over it. How did your meeting with Prof Sito go? Did you dazzle him with your brilliance? I wish I didn't agree to join him on his research paper. What happened? Not good enough. Do you know how many residents will kill to have a chance to work with Prof Sito? He obviously saw something in you. That's why he... Amina, I'm tired. I know it's tough on you. But once you get this paper with Prof Sito published, you'll impress the board. And I don't have to tell you what wonders it'll do for your career. You cannot give up, Reef. Think of our future. By the way, I've already prepared a wedding invite for Prof Sita. Ibu, you cannot do this! I'm not calling! Don't tell me what to do! Check Homie will be fine on his own. Okay, but you need your rest. Come go upstairs and go to bed. He doesn't have much time left. I want to be with him. Ibu, don't be like this. <laughs> what is it now? Abang! Ibu is getting upset because we won't let her watch over Chek Homie. No, I keep telling her to go and rest, but she keeps getting worked up. I can give her a sedative to calm her down, but I doubt she'll take it. Get out of my way! Are you okay? Do you think you can stop me? You have no right to stop me. If it's about the cost... It's not about the money. His wife is against it. And we wanted him to be here so that Shadina can spend more time with him. Okay, what about live-in caregivers? I can ask around for recommendations. Iris, I don't know how to tell you. The situation with Chit Hilmi cannot be resolved by throwing money at it. Okay, so tell me, how can I help? I can't. I don't need help. I don't need you to do anything. You sound upset. Did, did I say something wrong? Look, I have to go now. Bye. <laughs>